I um, was invited to an event um, and I guess about four or five years ago and they had a young woman who came up to speak um, about her experiences with the center and she just blew me away. Um, her, her background and her experiences and what she had gone through in life and when she first got to the center how the center really just changed everything for her. And I thought, wow, um, this was um, a young girl who had grown up in New York City just like I did, but had a uh, harder time in life and uh, coming out and, and what she had to deal with. And I thought, Gosh, the center is really, I mean, it's incredible. And so I thought, I mean, I definitely want to support this organization. And we had to figure out just how. I'm Raquel Chevremont. Um, I am a New Yorker, um, born and raised. And uh, yeah, I'm a collector and a, um, a consultant and now a curator. I mean, that's the one thing, right? Artists are incredible in that way. Um, and their support of, of spaces. They're only allowed to write off what uh, the materials cost. So when an artist donates a piece, you know it's, it's, it's a special thing and it's, it's in their heart that they, um, they really want to support this institution. We have uh, Deborah Cass, Alex Katz, Patrick McMullen, uh, Lyle Ashton Harris, and a young girl, February James, does these watercolors that are really pretty amazing and not a lot of people know about her. Artists want to give and they want their supporters and people who collect them to give as well to uh, institutions that they're passionate about. 40% of the homeless youth are LGBT, and, uh, which is a huge number in New York City alone. So I, I, I think that if you care about young people <laughs> and our next generations, our future generations, and our future voices, um, that you know, this the center is uh, is really is is a place that you you need to support.